today I'm gonna to be taking you around Hanoi and we're gonna go explore the city by shooting some street. So today is officially day two in Hanoi and after exploring the city yesterday, I realized how many street photography opportunities there are here and I decided to just show you guys what the streets really look like from this lens. So actually, before I was making these ridiculous travel vlogs, I focused a lot more on photography. Not street photography either though. So actually, street photography used to be so difficult for me. I used to be so shy and could not take street photos for my life. But with the help of some few friends back in New York, They've showed me how to do it and I shadowed some of them. So I'm going to be showing you some street. And I will also say too, I only have one camera body. So I'm going to be switching off my lenses. Alrighty, so I'm going to be heading over to the Cho Dong Juan market and hope that I don't get run over. But look how skilled these people are driving. It's great. Okay, so. I'm actually planning on going inside of the market just because inside the market everything is kind of densely close together and I think it'll be a really good opportunity to kind of frame people within the accessories and the things that they're selling. When I shoot street I actually listen to music because it helps me focus better and then I don't hear any of the outside noise. I don't think I will listen to music today, but that's also something that I've come across that's more comfortable for me. The other day when I was here, I just realized like the people here look so unique. Okay, so actually back backtrack. What I do look for when I shoot street are really interesting or unique looking individuals. Um, not in like a bad way or anything, but people who just stick out or people who represent a certain city in a particular way. So here, for example, a lot of people wear the triangle hats. So I am very... Oh, there's one right in front of me actually right now. <laughs> right here actually. Okay. But what I'm actually looking for right now is to actually take a lot of street photos of people wearing these hats. Um, not only that, but probably people also riding their motorbikes or whatever I think is interesting. So let me show you how I shoot street. And this is actually going to also be my first time shooting street here in Vietnam. I'm shooting on a Tamron 35 to 150 millimeter lens, 2 to 2.8. And actually, this lens was so difficult to get. I searched all throughout the US and no one had it no one had it and luckily one became available before i had a trip over to yosemite and i told them i'll do anything for the lens i'll pay for whatever shipping and i got it so it's a really really good lens and it's perfect for landscapes also if you're looking to shoot landscape but i use it a lot to shoot a lot of my video as well and to get all that b-roll Alrighty, so we just got into the market right now and there's a lot of people here framed into the railings and the products that they're selling which is exactly what I'm looking for. So what I'm trying to do is find foreground and try to frame people kind of centered in the frame and those two bleachers are perfectly there, focus centered in the railing. Okay, so I'm exiting the market right now and to be honest, that was actually a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. And actually, I got a little bit nervous so I did put in my headphones so I'm still listening to music. And I think it was a little bit harder because everything was so close together that when I pointed my camera at people, they just turned their heads away. Which I don't blame them for because, I mean, I am taking photos. But I got some shots, I think they're okay. But uh, let me know how, what you think of these shots. Okay, so actually I came outside and these guys actually look pretty cool. They're waiting for people to drive. 
so I'm gonna snipe them. My settings are also 1 over 250 and f3.5. I love the bokeh in the back. My ISO is 100. But I try to have it at least minimum of 1 over 250 just because I don't know how fast people are gonna move. So I think these guys know I'm super fun. Getting hot in here. I'm on my way over to the old quarter. And because today is a Saturday too, I think there's gonna be a lot more people today than there normally is. All right, let's go to the old quarter. Yes, I sniped the hat. The one thing that's really challenging about street photography is that you always have to have your, your eyes out on the lookout because you never know what kind of person is gonna come across you. I walked one or two blocks and that took me like, almost 10 minutes <laughs> i see that lady with the cart coming up towards me she is so perfectly framed so far here in hanoi i feel like there's just so many different type of characters where you have people on motorbikes you have people pushing carts of food people with the triangular hats or just just people going about their days. Being able to capture these kind of moments is so special because this is part of traveling, right? This is the street. These are the streets of these countries. And I will say that yes, I have been shooting street in all the countries I've gone to here in Southeast Asia so far. But the thing is, I haven't really shared a lot of my photos yet. Why? I don't really know. I don't really know, but I think I will start to share them here from Hanoi. I think that everyone shoots street differently and the way I like to shoot street actually is with my telephoto lens. And a lot of my friends back at home, they make fun of me for that, but I just feel like you can just hone in on the face or the person so much with a telephoto lens. And yes, although it is really heavy to carry around, you could have a different range. And also, if you're nervous like myself, you could actually stand far away and still get your shots. And for me, I actually like to leave the aperture as low as I can actually, because I love the bokeh in the background. I absolutely love the bokeh. And I do take photos of people, like I like photos of myself. So that's just my style. I try to have them middle to small size in frame. Sometimes it's tough, but sometimes I also do like accentuating the close-ups of people as well too. The one other thing I would say is a little bit tricky about street photography is that sometimes you'll find a person and you're like, oh my gosh, this is the exact moment that I've been waiting for. But then they move and then you stand in a spot for like 10 minutes for them to try to move again. I didn't wait that long this time, but sometimes I do wait a long time to wait for that moment again. But that's the one thing about life too. Sometimes you just have to take it as it is and you don't get second chances all the time. And yes, I will also say guys that my headphones have been in the entire time. I get really nervous when shooting street because I'm not really used to it. All right, so your girl finally made it over to the old quarter, but there's actually not as many people as I thought there were gonna be here. There's actually a fencing around here, so maybe it's a special event or a holiday. Huh? What? My shoes? Oh yeah, my knee! <laughs> I guess my knee is funny. Uh, he just came up and pointed at my knee. I guess I have a funny knee. I don't know. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna do my absolute best and try to take my snipe over here. I think maybe I came a little bit too early. It's 5.30 right now, and maybe people are over at dinner, but what I'm gonna try to do is, what am I gonna do? 
Okay, there's people walking around the river lake, so I'm gonna go and see what I can shoot from there. Alrighty guys, so these are my street photos taken here straight from Hanoi. And again, if you guys are into street photography, I think this is one of the best places to take street photos in Vietnam, aside from Ho Chi Minh, of course. There's just a lot, a lot of people, and I think because the city is a little bit smaller, people go to the same type of areas. Since it's a Saturday night, a lot of people here are at the old quarter. So if you guys enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe onto this channel. And let me know if you want to see more street photography videos like this in Southeast Asia. So, again, I love you guys so much. Thanks for being here. And I will see you guys in the next video. Safe and happy travels, y'all.